air quality is one of your defined service areas. Um, it, obviously, we've had a lot of uh, in air quality challenges. I mean, long, long standing ones, but the past couple of years in California have been particularly intense with the wildfires, pandemic, and other challenges. W- what did this service area look like pre pandemic? What does it look like during the pandemic? And what do you think it will look like post pandemic? Let's talk about what it looked like pre pandemic. Um, indoor air quality was important. But it was more of a, it was about comfort. It was about ASHRAE standards. It was, am I too hot? Am I too cold? Um, is it uh, stuffy and so forth? And that's the genesis of a lot of the issues that we were in this response mode for. And, and I think that I'd underscore response, but we we're always sort of responding to it. What changed with the pandemic is that the environment, the indoor environment became much more important, there were real health issues associated with the spread of diseases and, and pathogens in, in, in an indoor environment. And so I think it took on more important. What was so interesting to me is that our industrial hygiene and safety group, which manages indoor air quality issues, they had the worst month. Uh, March was their strongest month probably in their history. And April probably was the weakest month in their entire history as well. And you're thinking, you know, we've got a pandemic. And we've got uh, the practice lead as an epidemiologist by education, and we're going to have the worst performance ever by a group. And it was because no one was in the offices. No, no one was in the building. So during the pandemic at the beginning, it totally went away. We are now seeing it really ramping up. We're getting a lot of phone calls, a lot of panicky help us. We've got to get staff back in. Um, what are we going to do? 